So welcome back. Uh, this is uh, Andrew Klein again, and this is uh, video 7 in this series on uh, creating composites. Uh, we were looking in video 6 on how to create a basic occlusion pass, and we were working and created this overlay, and we talked about some of the problems that existed. Uh, what I was working on here back in Maya now, and what I want to do is I want to make sure I can cut out this torus shape and make sure that because it is a uh, reflective, transparent piece of glass in the master layer, that I don't end up creating a deep shadow on it as well. Since it's transparent, it's probably not going to have as much of a shadow element. So there's a couple ways I can do this. If I still want it to have a bit of a shadow, I can create another occlusion material and another occlusion texture. So first off, I can create this occlusion material, just going to select it and duplicate it, and take my occlusion texture, duplicate it. Again, I'll relink these up by middle mouse dragging. And maybe this time around, what I'm going to do is make my max distance for this piece a little bit less. Maybe I make it a value of like 1.5. And I can also take my dark color and make this not nearly as dark. Now I can take this occlusion material and assign the new occlusion material just to this torus shape. So there we go, we have that uh, selected. If I look at my uh, render view now, I'm going to store this render down for comparison purposes. Let's re-render and see what happens. We should have a much lighter occlusion on this material which needs to not have as much deep shadowing. Ah, pretty cool. So now we have just a little bit of shading here at the bottom, uh, you know, not the deep heavy shadows that have on everything else, and that's what we would expect to see. Now one of the problems is though is I've got this deep core shadow on the ground, the same problem as I have right here, and we're going to look at that in the next video. That's a little bit more complicated. So we're going to cut that out in uh, video 8. If you want to get rid of the shading altogether on this piece, and this will be the last thing that we do here, instead of applying any shading at all, what I'd recommend doing is creating a uh, Maya surface, surface shader. And uh, just make the out color all white and put that right onto this node. And there you go. It's not going to have any deep shadows at all when we re-render. So let's save this one down, compare it again one more time. And now all of my deep shadows are gone. So this is certainly going to improve the look of my shot by cutting out some of those parts. But again, it's, it's casting maybe too much of a shadow. We might want to tone some of that down because the light may pass through this piece. Uh, and it's casting on the ground here, and of course we still have this problem with this flag. So this was kind of a short video, but uh, this was video 7 on uh, avoiding some transparency problems in uh, creating an occlusion pass. Uh, stay tuned for video 8, where we're going to take a look at how to exclude uh, these deep shadows and cut out my alphas. We're going to expand upon this in just a minute.